You guys may not believe it, but I've got a pretty mean yodel. This mini set has got to be my favorite mini set that has ever happened in Hearthstone's history because the biggest complaint that I hear about a lot of these sets is that they don't really impact the meta all too much. Now granted, not every single card is seeing plays in a bunch of different archetypes and we are just kind of supporting some archetypes that have already existed, but you want to know what didn't exist? Mind decay, at least not into any sort of effectiveness because guess what, Naval Mind was just a card that was way too bad for the Death Knight archetype because we really couldn't do anything with Death Rattles. Until we added Yelling Yodeler into both Hunter and the Death Knight class, and I have to say this card is just an immense amount of fun, whether or not you are throwing bombs at the opponent or you're summoning 3-3s, three or even now we have Nerubian Egg featuring in this deck because you just want as many Death Rattles that you can get the value out of, and we're even running Death Rattles in order to set up insane combos. And the thing I love the most about this deck is that it actually utilizes Unholy Frenzy in a very meaningful way, and a lot of people have been giving me this question, why isn't Dead Air in this deck? The reason why Dead Air isn't in this deck is because look at how many undeads are, in, are available in the list. You have Foul Egg, and that's about it. The other de undead cards you really don't care about killing off too much unless you want to go for maybe like a card draw combo, but rather than just like killing off your minions, wouldn't it make more sense to kill off your minions while also throwing them at your opponent? Like... The best thing about Unholy Frenzy is not even the fact that you can use this as removal, but if you have a bunch of mines, for example, like if you have two mines on the field, you throw out an egg, and you play Death Growl, then it doesn't matter what minion you happen to go up against, because they have zero attacks, so you're going to be able to use this in a, in a way to effectively kill your opponent with a gigantic burst combo. This is why Unholy Frenzy is an absolute must-include in this deck, and at two mana... It just means that you can discover it off Vizier for zero, and that is a huge swing in a lot of situations. Now, you guys are probably asking, where exactly did I find this deck? Well, I'm definitely not the one that created it, but I will say that this is a top 25 legend deck coming from one of the former Hearthstone World Champions. And as you can clearly see, he is very still active within the community. And he's the one that posted this list first and essentially uh, turned on people to this idea. And he's not the only one that's hit legend with this deck, going with a 17 and 9 record. Pizza also, take, uh, also took this deck the other day uh, into legend on the first day, second day of the uh, new season and was able to do exactly that. He hit legend, top 200. And he's saying that it feels a lot like Zulok and how it used to feel, and that kind of does feel very reminiscent with all the synergies that Nerubian Egg has going for it. But let me go ahead and walk you through some of the general ideas that's not just, you know, the obvious Egg Death Rattle synergies. As Pizza said, this is very much a zoo type deck to where it's not all about, you know, just dealing damage to the face as quickly as possible. This is about maintaining board and making your board as sticky as possible. So the reason why Nerubian Egg into Yelling Yodeler is so good is because, yes, you do get two 4-4s, four but if you keep building onto the board with more eggs when you have, like, these legitimate threats your opponent needs to deal with, that just makes AoEs significantly weaker. So that way you can always be pressuring a board unless your opponent happens to silence and then remove. And I will just go ahead and say this, this deck can pretty much get farmed by Control Priest if they have the silence tools available. And so in those kind of matchups, it may be a little bit more, uh... A little bit more difficult to tempo out your options you may have to go for more of a combo option like for example you can't just play your naval mine until you have a death growl combo ready to go potentially with an with unholy frenzy or maybe there might be a turn where you have to just play naval mine into yelling yodeler as soon as you can so you can deal that damage and then hopefully deal the remaining amount of damage with the rest of the board because this is one of those decks where game plans are very very important and against decks like control priest if they do have silence then you just need to try and play around that because you don't want your not your minds and your eggs being uh destroyed at the higher ranks i feel like this deck is a little bit harder uh to get some rank uh, to get some wins with at the moment because people are aware of this idea and one thing to fight against this deck that a lot of people just straight up don't do at the lower ranks kill the egg just kill the egg if you if you see your opponent play a two two uh, play a zero two on turn two with coin in hand and they have a kept card you are about to go up against a three four and two four four so you might as well just mitigate that and make it into one four four so you're kind of bringing this deck behind but that's where this deck really does shine is that your opponent needs to play a very specific way in order to deny the value that you're going to get from these sort of cards and with all of the damage buffs you have like skeletal sidekick with rowdy fan and the fact that might of minithel fits into this deck so perfectly, like, it, this deck is just insane. It's the most insane deck and the most fun deck that I think I've seen in a minute, and I just love everything that this deck has going for it. 
And that actually does remind me of another reason why we don't play Dead Air and some like other cards like Cage Head in this deck, because we really want the double uh, Frost and one Unholy Rune requirement. So number one, we can run Might of Minute though, but number two, so we can run the Horn of Winter. Those kind of situations to where you want to get the value out of your eggs and your yodelers as soon as possible. Horn of Winter is usually the card that helps you do that because by turn four, you can just play Egg, Horn of Winter, and a Yelling Yodeler, and there's nothing your opponent can do to stop it unless they have, you know, the most amount of removal and silence and there's a lot of things that need to have my turn five in order to stop how effective this combo is so horn of winter ramps are very important the minor minute though gives you some much needed stall in order to and essentially build up a two turn lethal and then you have posic for you know for disruption like this deck feels like it has everything and i'm gonna prove how much i love this deck in front of you guys right now but in order to prove how much i believe in this deck Completely golden uh, aggro death knight. <laughs> but this is pretty much me telling you guys right now that this is the deck that I am planning on hitting legend with. Not just because it's the new cool deck that I really want to play, but because I have a ton of fun playing this list where I have crafted it completely golden. This is the third all golden deck that I have ever made. The first one being Unholy DK, the second one being Frost DK with the 12 wins that we got from the Tavern Brawl to show off this portrait. And now the third golden deck that I've ever had is yet another DK deck. That is all about dealing mines and playing eggs, which are some of the most fun cards in Hearthstone's history. Maybe not so much on the naval mines, but there's nothing, there's just nothing like playing a Nerubian egg on turn two. It's just one of the most Hearthstone, Hearthstone things that I can remember right now. And because I don't believe I actually talked about the mulligan, let me give you a quick idea of what to keep in the mulligan. Uh, you want to keep Foul Egg, you want to keep Nerubian Egg, you want to usually keep Yelling Yodeler, especially if you're on the coin. Um, but usually, uh, keeping this card can be a little bit of a, uh, of a risk if you don't have any of the, uh, the, the Death Rattle cards in hand. So I would try not to keep Yelling Yodeler in hand, and keep in mind, I might make another video in the future about this deck with stats, because I cannot find any stats on this deck right now for Mulligan Guides, unfortunately. So maybe this information is subject to change, but Bonebreaker, the Eggs... You can keep Yelling Yodeler if you have uh, those other uh, Death Rattles available. Obviously, you can keep Arms Dealer in some of these situations. But if you have, like, Nerubian Egg, Yelling Yodeler, you could also debatably keep Horn of Winter depending on what matchup you're going up against. If you're going up against a Tempo matchup, 100% keep this card if you have the Egg and the Yodeler. Other than that, usually just keep one drops and two drops to try and buff up and get onto the board as fast as possible. But the most important thing about this deck to remember is that you can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. So keep breaking those eggs, keep summoning those 4-4s, four those 3-3s, three deal 4 damage to the face, and you too will realize just how insanely fun this deck actually is. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro, and we'll see you in the next video. People arrive. Yo, what's going on, Skylar? I'm glad that you're a happy gamer. I really don't know what the mulligan of this deck is, in all honesty, outside of just fine death rattles and... <laughs> oh, God, let's go. Let's go. It's, it's, it's time, dude. I'm so good at yodeling. I think we always weapon here, right? I mean, maybe it's foul leg because I could have uh, found Skeletal Sidekick. But I'm going to go for a bait and switch, you know? I'm going to make him think that we're playing something different. There's a chill fall on Baron. Okay, I'm just going to double egg here, dude. There's no way he kills both eggs. And honestly, I could death growl if I really wanted to. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for maximum Yodel value next turn. The only reason why I'm not hitting the minion is because it doesn't cleanly trade. And if I'm about to summon a bunch of 3-3s, three then yeah. Yodeling! <laughs> I'll never get old, by the way. Okay, so still not gonna swing, still gonna wait. Remember, we're here, so you already won. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. Exactly. 12 minutes in, and we already got a decent amount of people here. A decent amount of chatters. Bro, we, we we cooking on Twitch right now. Oh, shit. Hold on. I think I'm I think I'm think okay with this, though. I think I'm absolutely fine with this. Yo! We get our stuff! Coming in with two months! Hordes out, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to show off your horde pride. <laughs> Thank you for the for the two months. Thank you for the prime. Welcome back to the horde, man. Always a pleasure. Uh, what do I do? I think we death growl here. We give this egg some value, so we can just go unga bunga and look at look at this board, dude. Holy god, this deck is actually feeling good. 
I broke the meta with Enrage, Amalgam, Weapon, Ramornia, Hook Fist Warrior. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's just Enrage, Menagerie, Vermornia Warrior. <laughs> I mean, what, what makes it weapon? What makes it a weapon deck in particular? Oh my god, the value. Yeah, got so go. much value I could put in my pants. Let's not say that on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is just so good, dude. Cooking up a storm. Cooking up eggs of all kinds as well as naval mines. So which one... Uh, which one are you gonna get? You gonna get an explosion of flavor or an explosion to the face? I mean, I'm blowing up every single hero I go up against today. We're just destroying everybody. Unadulterated madness. It's amazing how bad that card feels without poisonous. I'm gonna make you play the deck. Uh, I mean, go ahead and uh, and put it in chat. I'll take a look. Wow, I hit the rowdy fan twice. <laughs> that was so garbage. Oh, that was absolute garbage, dude. Oh my god, dude. This is like an actual meta breaker. I'm always interested to see what you guys are cooking up, you know? Instead of coming to the streamer for deck list, what about the streamer coming to you for the deck list? Now that's content. I almost... I want to play the arms dealer, but it's like with this hand, I feel like I have to start with this. Because I really don't want this to die. No pure doom for you, Clark. Noodle Soup, I already have that deck made, fun fact. I I, I, I think that um I think that Paladin is gonna have to be on my, my top five deck list video because oh my god, it's just super broken. But I really don't wanna play it. I really don't wanna play it, man. Pure Paladin, it fills me up with a rage inside. It fills me up with so much rage. Cause it's I mean it's it's like how how to describe it? How to describe it? It's just one of those decks where I don't have fun playing against it, and I don't have fun actually playing it. I mean, it fills me up with wins, technically, but I don't enjoy the wins. So, like, if I'm not enjoying myself, what's even the point, man? Okay, this is also a very terrible start, but look at me dealing damage. Look at me go. Where are you, doggo? Might have to grab her after this. <laughs> Oh my god, there we go, dude. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I could just do this now and put it on an arms dealer. And then next turn, he's not going to want to kill off the bomb. Because why would you? And close enough. All right, we cooking. We cooking, dude. There honestly might have been an argument to just go ahead and leave the bomb on the field. Because why would they kill it? But I feel like... You would just take the four, guaranteed, in order to prevent anything from happening here. And then suddenly I have Might of Minithel. That's 12. So I just need to find 12, 16. Just need to find three more damage at that point. To be fair, I tried to make it work uh, without going pure. It wasn't possible. There was one... Uh, Rami was telling me that there's uh, a deck idea that's floating around right now. Uh, that is doing just that. How good is it? I don't know. But there are some people that are trying that. So, uh, kudos. We at least tried it. <laughs> I filled the board three times and my mage opponent rolled a quality blizzard. And then played Ramath. Oh my god, that's illegal. That's not okay. Okay, so I need to find... Uh, okay, don't kill my minions. Don't, don't you dare kill my, kill my mine. No! Wait, what? Double coin. Astalor, is he not killing the mine? Wait, is this lethal? Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Hero power. Oh, oh my! They're playing backstab now. We're playing backstab now. Holy God! I, I, wow. I mean, it doesn't matter. We still win the game, dude. We actually just like for sure still win the game. I mean, wow, they play backstab now. I guess it makes sense with all the eggs and whatnot. All right, well, even with a healing card, it doesn't matter. There, There is... I don't think there's any Colossal Minion that gets him out of this. Yeah, nice. Nice card there, matey. Dude, check this out. Yeah, nice, nice job, Rogue.
I almost threw the game. I almost threw the game. I almost threw the game, dude. I almost threw the game playing the minion. But actually, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been a throw because we would have had enough damage anyway. Jesus, man. I, I literally did nothing in the early game, but Rogue did more nothing than me. So, GG, get out of my game. Oh my god, am I gonna- am I just gonna climb the legend with this deck today? It got your attention. I said that I'm gay, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gay, good at yodeling. Bro, like, that. that's 10 out of 10 comedy, man. That's 10- yeah, <laughs> Clark is the gay shout it from the mountaintop. <laughs> it, it's- it's just a- it's just funny joke. Did I- did I make you laugh with my sense of humor? And that's what matters, right? I made you- I made you- I made you tee hee. Just like that, you think you're a manly man, but here you are giggling like a schoolgirl. Going up against uh, a warrior that wants to rope us. Oh no. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever will I do? I'm just gonna play my cards and win games and blow up heroes. Alright, second rope turn. Feels great, by the way. How good are you at yodeling, though? Like, really good? Uh, yodeling! How about that, man? That was good, right? I, I, need, I need a different kind of yodel noise, though. Like, okay, what? Okay, so like, yodeling is just yodel, yodel, Like, it's like scatting, but worse, right? If you aren't wearing a kilt right now, I <laughs> swear to God. Well, you know what? Uh, I swear to God, this, uh... I've got a blanket on right now. Does that count? I'm keeping myself warm. Does that count? I mean, it's not really a kilt, but I mean, it, it, it could look like a kilt, I guess imbuing me oh man how rude how rude can you be man imagine not yodeling imagine not yodeling dude cortez jr thank you so much for the follow man good to have you here welcome 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 we are slaughtering the meta today we are blowing up everybody that comes across us what's the deck score it is technically three and uh technically three and one right now it did not track my first w but my first w oh my god dude it was it was no contest it's no contest for yodeling, you should wear uh, a uh, oh a lederhosen. Literal translation is leather pants. You know, I actually kind of want to have leather pants, dude. I don't know what it is about the idea of leather pants, but they just look they just look so good. They just look so good, and I feel like I would rock them. You know, as a rock star, I feel like leather pants and, and me just go hand in hand. A zero mana unholy frenzy. Oh my god, let's go, dude. You are not going to survive this game. You are not going to survive this game. It is actually just GG. You just don't know it yet. Here I come for the sick riffs and you're playing DK. Shake my head. <laughs> That's always been like the, the big criticism that people have about mini sets is, Oh, they don't shake up the meta. Oh, really now? Have you yodeled? Have you yodeled yet, buddy? I don't think you have. Hunter is being able to go full health in like one turn. It's amazing. Hunter feels like a real class now. Versus just being like this weird in between where it's like it's not bad but it's also not good because it, it's not it's like hunters like I like I was saying hunters not bad but the meta game for hunter this past like year has not been good for it it's 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 been the opposite of what hunter wants to do a lot of the time <laughs> wait do I go for a board or do I just unga bunga deal eight I unga bunga deal eight I top deck death growl and then we just like win the game dude I can't get crazy actually. I need this to die because I can't have him buffing it, so no, we can't go Yodeler this turn, actually. Alright, I have to do it this way. I have to do it this way because I can't let him, like, swing the game back with, like, gigantic Ogre or something, right? And if he wants to trade the weapon into this, then play Ogre, if it's in hand, that is a possibility, but... Season Pass or Mini Set, what would you, uh, consider better value for the money? Definitely the season pass because it gives you gold. You get more gold for the season pass uh, playing the same amount of games. The mini set you can always buy with that gold, so you can get two for one. So get the season pass, get you get your gold up, get 2k gold, and then buy the mini set. At the same time, you're going to be opening packs, so you're slowly going to be gathering the mini set cards that way. So that's just the most amount of bang for your buck. I tried Unholy Death Rattle with Magatha three to four times. Uh, she drew grave strength and my opponent kills me with it. Fair, fair and balanced, right? One, two. Dude, give me Death Growl. Give me Death Growl, this game is just simply over. This game is like actually just GG turbo done. No one's gonna play around this. 
Go ahead and make a big anima. I actually don't care. Oh my god, I don't care, dude. I, 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 give, I give zero. I give zero right now. Go ahead, dude. Do it. I, I, I need... I need something out of this game. Oh, wait a minute. He's trading. Wait, I don't have lethal anymore. Um... Wait, wait, with hero power, though. Wait, with hero power, I almost have it. Mmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is actually kind of a problem. So I do this. Hit him in the face. I don't want to give him card draw, but we need to, like, remove something. I don't think I can prevent him from killing me if he's got, like, the Groms and whatnot. Wait, I have lethal? Oh, wait, no, you're right! I bring it back twice! Oh my god, you're right, dude! It is lethal! The greatest deck of all time. Wait. How does this work with the 4-4? Four four? Okay, yeah. We're, we're good, we're good. Okay, so it brings back the 4-4 four four first. GG, dude! G fucking G! I thought, I thought I was one damage off! But I didn't include the first attack! Oh my god, thank you chat, thank you. I almost threw that game. I almost threw it. Dude, this, this is this is like actually the best deck. Like, oh my god, it's like actually the best deck. I wanted a mind DK to be good, because I knew the potential was there with Yodeler.